a strange article. Very strange article in the Washington Examiner about Rince Priebus and his folks, among other things, trying to reach out to me. Didn't you find that article a little strange, Mr. Producer? Rince Priebus has been wanting to meet with me for months. And the first they contact Mr. Producer on the radio side, then they contact the Levin TV folks, and I said, okay, you come on Levin TV. I'll talk to you right before that, then you come on Levin TV, so I don't really like to do things in the shadows. Plus, I don't know the guy. I've never, I don't, has he ever been on this show? I don't think he's ever been on this show. But I've never talked to him. If I did, maybe once on the radio, but I don't even think then. But I don't know him. I've never met him. I've never talked to him in person, for sure. So, okay, if somebody wants to reach out, I'm happy to meet them. But I'm not going to meet them, and then that's that. No. Well, then they said, well, why don't you come down to the Republican National Committee? Uh, they're uh, building, I guess, on C Street in Washington, meet with us. And I thought, no, why would I do that? He wants to meet with me. I'm not trying to meet with him. And by the way, that is a long trip for me. That's about 80 miles round trip. So, again, I have said, do you want to meet with me? It's not because I'm a prima donna. I'm not going to Washington. You can come out here, meet at the Levin TV studio. We'll talk, and then I would like to put you on TV and ask you questions so the audience can watch. So I'm at the uh, Talkers Magazine event a couple weekends ago. You might recall I got the uh, Free Speech Award. A fellow comes up to me. He, he uh, works for Priebus. I think he was previously a producer for my buddy Hugh Hewitt. And he brings it up. And I said, look, I'm not coming to Washington. He can come out. He can view, talk to me, and we'll put him on Levinti. Same thing I keep saying. Next thing I know, there's an article saying that I talked to the uh, Priebus people at this talkers thing and so forth. I didn't talk to the Priebus people. I said exactly what I'm telling you. Now, I don't have a problem talking with them under the conditions that I'm laying out to you. They want to reach out to conservative talk radio or me, fine. But I have some questions to ask, and I would like him to answer them publicly. And those of you who have lived in TV, you've seen the interviews I do. I don't attack the people that I'm interviewing. I ask them questions, and I give them plenty of time to answer. But, you know, I've called for Priebus's resignation multiple times over the last several years. It's pretty gutsy of him, you know, wanting to talk to me. I'm more than happy to do it. But really, I'm not going to Washington, sitting down, being told what they're doing, yip they do and come back. We can be more productive than that. So that's the bottom line. That's it. Nothing good, nothing bad, nothing, period. Just thought you'd want to know. Isn't that right, Mr. Producer? You know. That's the, 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 I've just told you the whole story.